Nearing the 24 hour mark on the first United Auto Workers strike at GM plants in nearly a decade. Dozens of UAW workers have lined the gates at the assembly plant in Wentzville right now. And our Chris Davis is live tonight to explain what it will take for them to go back to work. Chris. Listen, Ann, you might disagree with what they're arguing for, but you can't dispute their resolve. They have stadium lights up tonight. They're going to be here all night and they will have it staffed until a deal is reached. Now, listen, both sides need each other. Ultimately, GM needs some new cars. UAW workers need a job and both will lose money as this drags on. But the trick will be finding a way where both sides will be happy. The honks are about all you'll hear right now in Winsville. The factory floor empty amidst a strike and the striking employees themselves have been instructed not to talk to reporters deferring to labor leadership. But workers did talk to state representative Brian Spencer. One, they're upset about the two tier pay system. The two tiered pay system has been controversial for more than a decade. When GM fell on hard times, the UAW allowed them to pay employees hired after 2007 less than longtime employees, even if they're performing the same job. Spencer says local workers also want to see a path for temporary workers to be hired full time. And some of the temps have been there for, you know, two years. It's been a wild ride for employees here in Wentzville. The plant opened with great fanfare in 1983. Well, we have to get ready for the future and uh, this is the time. Times were pretty good until the Great Recession and then rock bottom in 2009 when GM made the controversial move of abandoning old stock and forming a new company. The plant saw hundreds of layoffs. The line went idle for weeks at a time. Less than a thousand employees remained. The comeback rode in on a pickup truck. In 2014, the Wentzville assembly plant saw a $500 million upgrade with the addition of the Chevy Colorado and GMC Canyon. For the first time in plant history, it added a third shift, making it a 24 hour operation. This is the brightest time in GM Wentzville's history. And it could be brighter still. GM is considering another expansion here in Wentzville, but before that can happen, a deal has to be made. Spencer is just glad they're back at the table. So hopefully the strike will be over soon. Now, a representative for General Motors released a statement this afternoon saying they remain committed to finding a deal that will be better for both their employees and their business. In the meantime, the UAW workers will remain out here until a deal is reached and they have some support here in the community. While we were out here earlier tonight, we saw two local pizza franchises that belongs to Marco's and Domino's donate some free pies. They say it was a symbol of them being in solidarity with the labor movement, Ann.